Probably the most common phrase I hear is, you know, what would you do? Uh, what would you do for your family member? And, you know, I, I try to sit back and really say, you know, it, it comes down to all the different factors that are important to each individual person. Um, and I talk through that with patients. You know, there's, there's pros and cons to everything that we do. Um, as a physician, if I, you know, feel the person is high risk, uh, and they're going to require more aggressive treatment, uh, I sort of feel confident enough to, to talk through that with them. Um, but I, I really feel like we need to address their concerns, make sure that, you know, they, they also understand why we have such a high concern. You know, a, a great example would be uh, there was a time when a, a mechanic called me after hours one time and said, you know, I, I'm worried about your brakes. I, I couldn't stop thinking about your car after work. Um, as a physician, we go through the same thing, you know, thinking about that patient, feeling like they're high risk, um, and, and always wanting to do the best we can for them. Um, it needs to be a process that engages someone uh, in it, uh, and that we try to provide answers to all their questions, uh, make sure they feel that they are part of the team in that decision making, and that if there's uh, sort of any discomfort or if someone feels they want to take a different path that we talk about the, the safety and the effectiveness of all the different options available. You know, most of my colleagues often ask, you know, what are, what are you taking? And, and whether it's their medical assistants or their nurses or if they're asking specifically, a lot of times they will ask, but patients oftentimes that we're finding don't actually tell them everything that they're taking. And so it's really important for us to, as a patient, to really explain to everybody what they are taking. Because if you're taking something that interacts with another medication, it's important that you're not taking that, med that, that supplement or that vitamin. Um, the other piece is that a lot of people are um, recommended to take certain products, whether they see it on TV or in an ad or from somebody at the health food store. And a lot of times they're taking more things than they need to, um, and so they're wasting their money. And I think that there's ways that you can focus that money in to take something that actually will really be helpful for you. Um, and there's, you know, there's a lot of th a lot of products out there too that don't have what they say they have in them. And so I think that's a whole other another piece to think about as well. Um.